This was a big week for Ubuntu users. Brand new version, Karmic Koala 9.10 of Ubuntu Linux came out uh, on Thursday. So my experience has been pretty fabulous so far. I decided to uh, just do an upgrade. I figure, you know, well, I could back up all my stuff and reinstall and get going that way. But let's see what happens with an upgrade. And everything went perfectly. Excellent. Like beyond perfectly. Nice. I've done an upgrade from 9.04 to 9.10 on two systems. One of them is an AMD 64. The other one is a, a Pentium 4. And both of them went perfectly fine. And in fact, the AMD system, a lot of the problems that I had with Jaunty just vanished after the upgrade, which is brilliant. Um, and then my system at work, I had to do in a two-step process because it's my work machine. I didn't want to risk any problems. So because I was using LTS, uh, 8.10, 8 I had to go from 8.10 to 9.04 and then to 9.10. And it worked, again, absolutely flawlessly. One of the things that I did have happen after on that machine going from 8.10 to 9.04 and then to 9.10 is I did receive one error upon boot. And that error caught me off guard at first. It says incomplete language support. The language support files seem to be incomplete. But then at the very bottom, it says, run this action now. So I clicked that, and lo and behold, it automatically installed the fix. <laughs> Everything was working perfectly once again. Uh, and Karmic just demonstrated that it's, uh, it's a, a seamless upgrade process. Everything works really, really well. So a couple of little glitches here and there with the operating system itself, because it is brand new, and you know they're going to be working out bugs here and there. Uh, we'd love to know if you've uh, had your own experience with 9.10. Get into the chat room, category5.tv. Kind of let us know what you think so far. If you're in the chat room, let us know what you're thinking about the Karmic Koala. So far, I'm loving it. Uh, one of the things that is, well, pretty new is the fact that it now uses Grub2. That's the new bootloader for, for Ubuntu Linux. Now, my system, because I did an upgrade, I didn't, have, I didn't uh, get the switch over to Grub2. So I am thinking about, you know, possibly there's a couple of reasons that I might want to do a fresh install, but as it is, it's working really well as an upgrade as well, so I'm very happy with that. But one of the other things that I don't get with an upgrade is that it is out of the box. Ubuntu Karmic Koala is using uh, EXT4 as well. So they've deemed that to be uh, safe enough and uh, reliable enough to make that the core file system for the operating system. So very exciting stuff.